Thanks for clicking on my channel, Joy's Way. I'm Joy. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning supporter of mine, welcome back, awesome person. So today I want to do a few things. I want to play with some of the makeup that I won from Andy Does Stuff's 1K giveaway, which is this palette scandal right here. It is such a beautiful palette. I've been dying to play with it, but I've been working so much. I just haven't had it in me to do any filming. So I want to do that. I want to try this um, Luminous Putty Blush by e.l.f. I want to try out the Beauty Bay Plumping Lip Gloss. And I want to try the, um, um, I think it's Soul Body um oil glow or soul body some glow oil but before i do all that i also want to show you what i have gotten from influencer in the last a couple of weeks the coolest thing that i've received is the slavi estebel um irish i think it's called um abs absol i don't know anyways by lamco in paris it is a gentle irish and fruity accords scent it is comes in beautiful packaging look at that um i'm not really sure if i like it like the first time i tried it well i think it smells good either way i think it smells really good um at last forever and i wish i could show you like the other day i wore this to work i sprayed it like right here on my work shirt and everybody within like five feet of me could smell it. It's not overbearing. It's a really soft fragrance. Um, but I've just never had the scent of a perfume before. Now you can get this perfume. I seen on the internet anywhere from like $88 to, um, a hundred and what was it? A hundred and like 58 or something like that. Like the most expensive is the actual Lancome website. I wanted to show you that because that is so cool. I've never been gifted perfume before. And I do like the smell. If anything, it might, because like everybody that smelled it liked it except for one person. And that one person was a gentleman and he was like, oh, that just really stinks. And I work at a bar, so I'm up close and personal to a lot of people when I'm working. So I think that the fragrance smells great. I'm just not sure if it's my fragrance. Does that make sense? The next thing that was sent to me, I haven't even taken it out of the box, is from Clarins. Now, I have tried stuff from Clarins before, and I really liked it. And this is called a um, Cairo Flash Cream Mask. So I'm going to read the instructions. I'm sure it's a mask that you put on your face, you wear it for 10-15 minutes, and then you wash it off. And even though it's just a sample or travel size, it feels like it's filled all the way to there. And you can get a lot of uses out of this. So I'm looking forward to trying this out. Um, it says it instantly tightens, firming, and, glow boost and a glow booster. It might be a glow booster, but I haven't found anything that instantly tightens or firms my skin yet. That would be really nice. And then I got this. I haven't even opened it, so I'm going to look for here's some scissors. Um, these are called Mary's Gone Cheese Organic um, Crackers. I haven't even tried these yet. I just got these like two days ago, I think. And, um, I'm going to open them right now. Ooh, and they gave me really big boxes. Look at that. How cool is that? So here are the Organic Mary's Gone Cheese Plant-Based Cheese and Herbs. And this one is the Organic Mary's Gone Cheese um, Plant-Based Cheddar Flavor. So I'm super excited to try that. It's a more healthier snack because I read into it a little bit. Um, and I have been changing my diet a lot so that way it doesn't hurt my stomach. And then they sent me one in this box. This is so weird. Um, but I was like, what is it? But they sent the influencer card. Now what this is, is this is a hair growth medicine. I'm going to start taking these, I think Monday or something. Today is technically Thursday. It is a day off, but it says, um, clinically shown to help grow thicker, fuller hair. 
and I really don't need thicker hair or fuller hair, but I'm going to take them anyways because um, it might do something to my hair. I cut my hair because I was tired of it being long and I started sweating and I started putting it up and I got it cut and guess what? I still put the damn thing up. I don't think it matters. I don't think I just like it on my neck, but I miss braiding it. I miss putting it in my Indian braids is what I call them or my pigtails or whatever. So maybe this will actually help with the um, length too. Even though I don't say that, fingers crossed. But I do also want to talk about these it cosmetics that um influencer also sent to me over a month ago i did a tiktok video on them opening them and then i posted the bye bye um dark spots on tiktok today and i was going to do this one but i completely forgot got into doing other things and this is the confidence in a cream anti-aging armor i have um this on right now actually um before I do my makeup because I just think that it gives me just the right amount of everything and I use the bye bye dark spots every morning when I do my skincare and um I started off at like I think it was like 86.0 grams and it's down to like 81.2 or something like that and you just got to use a little bit I want to brag about this product. I don't normally brag about products. Like I have yet to find a dark spots that has worked for me. Well, it doesn't take away all of my dark spots. Like if you look really close, I have this right here, like in the corners of my eyes and that right there, nothing has ever, ever taken that away or I've ever felt like it has improved it. But this part right down here, I've always been known to have darker under eyes and um that's why i was always sad that i didn't really like foundation or um concealer because it was really hard for me to brighten my under eyes and i was using every cream that i could possibly think of i even have creams wherever my cream over here where all of my skincare is that are just for my under eyes and i just use them and i'm like i don't even know why i use these products this right here I have noticed a difference and if I'm going to go through some of my pictures, if I remember, I'm not going to make no promises. I hope that I go through some of my pictures and show you some pictures taken like more than a couple of months ago and then some recent pictures to see if you guys can tell too. So I'm going to keep using this and if it goes over good, I think this was like $28 when I um, originally got it and Googled the price. So, and it lasts forever. Look at that. I've had it a month and I've you know, used like what, five grams of it. And it looks like it's barely empty at all. All right. So enough about the skincare, but I do have to say this also hydrates and moisturizes very well. I absolutely love it. That is why I chose to wear it today. So I want to play with the Scandal palette when Andy from Andy Does Stuff had her, um, giveaway at first i wasn't going to enter because i have so much makeup i have so many things but she actually had a nice variety of stuff i haven't used yet i'm just cleaning a makeup brush i have so many makeup brushes that are clean i could easily grab any of them do you think i'm going to no no i'm not i'm just gonna go ahead and use what i have clean it so i'm going to going to drop my um palette on my boobs is what i'm going to do um, so I am going to use this shade right here and it is called snake. Now I'm not sure it says this is from Lorella. I don't know if that's the company. I'm not sure. I know this is one of Andy's favorite palettes. That's why she put it in the giveaway. I've never heard of this company, so I've never used the makeup. So we're going to use that color snake and I'm just going to go ahead and cover my whole lid with it. Let me get on there again. And then after I just dabble my whole eye, I'm going to use in the mirror um, and the actual palette. And I'm just going to kind of blend it a little bit. I've already put on my eye primer. I am using my favorite um, my Ace Beauty one. Now I still have the, um, the Ice something from Glamlight. But that is newer and I've had this um, Ace Beauty for over a year and I've had that one for like a couple of months. So I do use it from time to time, but my main go-to eye primer is my Ace Beauty. But after I use up my Ace Beauty one, 
I'm going to stick with the um, one from Glamlight because that's seriously brand new with no deals. Like $13 on the website or something like that. It's not very expensive at all compared to the Ace Beauty one is $38 on their website. So no, thank you. I like to save money and if I can find a, what do you guys call them? Dupes, I think. If I can find a cheaper dupe that I feel does just as good or if not better, like I'm honestly not sure if I like the Ace Beauty or the Glam Light one better. That's how good they both are. But those are the only two eye primers that I can tell you honestly that I actually really like and that I'm willing to use on a regular basis. Um, you kind of get addicted to it. When I first started doing my YouTube channel, I was totally against eye primers. Um, I'm sure if you've watched me for a long time, you've heard me go like, they make my eyelids feel like concrete, which they did. I mean, they felt really heavy after I put my makeup on and who wants that nobody wants that nobody wants their makeup okay maybe nobody i'm sure there's some people out there but the majority of the people that i know including myself do not want to feel their makeup they don't want it to be heavy they want it to be um as light as possible that's why i ain't wearing no damn foundation tonight it's not happening i don't care we're not doing foundation okay let me just touch this up a little bit so i pretty much kind of did that as a um I don't remember what it, it's been so long since I've done a makeup video. I can't remember. Is it something shade? I don't know. Anyways, the next color we're going to go into is this color right here, and it is black male. And I hope it is black. I have one black from Morphe. Mwah, I love it. It is absolutely black. But I don't use that palette very often. I need to, though. I'm going to go ahead and darken right here. So I also figured I could tell you a little bit about what's going on in my life. Um, Riri had her puppies and she originally had 10 and two died. Um, one died right at birth and the other one was so weird. It lived like a week, but it was like not growing. And um, every time I would like try to give her mommy time, titty time or whatever. Um, cause it was a little girl, you know, by herself, like I'd bring her out and just let her eat. It's like, she just wasn't gaining any weight. I'm not too sure, but she ended up passing. So, um, that left us eight. And I think, I think we have four girls and four boys, honestly. Um, one has blue and brown, uh, one blue eye, one brown eye. And we have two, possibly three, that have blue eyes or they look like they're coming in blue. I don't know if they're going to be a different color than um, Riri because Riri has blue eyes. Beautiful blue eyes. Look at that black. That's not as pigmented as I'd like it because um, you can kind of see the brown under it, but it'll work and it'll work for what I don't even know. I'm kind of doing like almost like a goth look tonight maybe because I'm also going to use that red. But anyways, back to Riri and her puppies. Maybe I'll take some pictures. I'll think about it. I think about a lot of stuff. I just actually don't do it. Like, I'm making myself do this video because I just put up my last video. And my last video that I recorded was the one that I just put out today, as a matter of fact, of all the giveaway stuff that I won from Andy. And I'm like, I really really need to do a, another video so that's what we're doing now but so Riri had her puppies they're so cute they're going to be six weeks old and I'm going to get them their first set of shots deworm them and then put them up for sale next color I want to use is bad behavior this is supposed to be a red but it really don't look like like it don't look like this color red it could be completely wrong it could be the same color um, this looks to me more like a brick red in the pan. Oh yeah, this is more like a brick red, which is perfectly fine. I think I've got a red red. So this is coming off to me. I don't know about the camera, but it's kind of coming off as a orange red. I have, um, I have a couple of lipsticks like that. I know my lips look cute in it. I don't know. I've never really wore 
a red eyeshadow unless I'm doing a video for somebody, for somebody, for myself. I do videos for my damn self and then I post them on YouTube for other people to watch them. But I don't just normally do reds. I think I, in the past I've done a couple of collabs where I've had, where like, you know, the color finder picks or the number thing or the bingo or whatever. I don't know. It's been so long since I've actually done a collab. All right. Let me <clears throat> clean this brush off again. I feel like I probably should have used, see, can you guys see how that brown is coming through? I'm trying to darken that up again. If not, um, that is what it is, right? I don't know. We will see. I also, uh, I also want to use this shiny called Gossip. Hopefully, oh, look at that. That is like more of a red. Kind of blends in with the other red. Ooh, can you see the difference? Beautiful. Absolutely love it. But I haven't been doing my makeup a lot lately. I haven't been doing like a full face because at work, even when the air is on, I get hot and sweat like you would not believe. And um, I haven't found anything yet that'll hold my makeup 100% on my face. So even if I get like my eyeshadow to look really good, my... Um, my blush and bronzer might smear or I might just sweat it off completely. I've noticed that even when I wear lipsticks that normally would stay on me all day come off because at work I'm constantly looking at my lips because I'm like, I don't know, thirsty. I don't know what it is, but I think because I be constantly looking at my lips that um that uh it's making the all day stay lipstick not stay all day you know what i mean um let's see i'm looking for a wet wipe i'll go ahead and just clean this up a little bit Alrighty, so i am still loving this thing i just turn it on I've been waiting a little bit longer like almost a minute to let it get heated up before i use it and then I just put it on, easy peasy. I don't know, it seems like the more that I do it, um, the easier it gets. It still makes my eyes water. I mean, I'm sure you can tell in the video if you're paying close enough attention. And I like, I like pause my video to find everything I needed. And guess what? It's not right where it should be. I swear I move stuff way too much. So I'm using my Lawless, the one and done mascara. I am going to cry when this is out. I don't know. I may actually rebuy it. I like it that much. And speaking of mascara, I just got notified from Influencer today that I am getting a mascara sent to me. And I don't remember the company um, that is sending it, but I have a mascara coming. And I also have a bottle of jalapeno spicy ketchup coming which technically i'm not even supposed to eat and when they were asking me i remember the questionnaire about it i completely forgot that my one child that absolutely loves hot stuff don't live with me no more so hopefully i can get somebody to try it Alrighty, now i want to try this um soul body glow oil I have one of these um, but it's like an orange color and I've always kind of been intimidated to use it but this one is like a white and I've watched some videos and you just squirt it and it's almost like a full body highlight so it's just probably gonna need more it's like a glittery highlight I figured we'll put it Oh, and it smells like coconuts. Mm. I don't know. I love the smell of like, um, oh, look, that's dry skin. My, uh, this is the oil. It's like taking the dry skin off my chest right here. Maybe I need to oil that out more. 
I can't even tell if it's shiny. So, make a little bit more. And I see people put it on their face. So, let's do that. Let's put it all over our face and see what it does. It smells it smells a lot, almost like a sun panning oil, but better. If that makes sense. Look at my hands. They're all shiny. But I do have, or I did, because I can never find anything when I just lay it down. Oh. Here we are. I have some deeper towel. I can't tell. I can't tell if it's shiny or not. Could be because it's dark too. It's like 10 o'clock at night or something like that. During the day with all my windows, I can't sh I can't record during the day because it's just too bright and then I'm like this big glow ball. And I mean, I, I, I've tried. Like, I don't know. I don't know if that's done anything or not. Oh. I don't like that it's, see that? That's so weird. I don't like that at all. Well, if that's what it's going to do, this will be the last time that I use it because I do have body oil that I use. I oil my face and my neck every day with moisturizer. So I'm not sure what that's all about. We'll see. Hopefully I don't have it in my face because I just put it on there. All right. So we played with that. I'm not really sure what it is supposed to do, but I want to play with this Beauty Bay lip oil. And it is a plumping lip oil, and I just want to know if it's going to. Oh, my hands are so oily. Just like I am going to have to. I'm going to have to wash my hands off with a wipey. My hands are so oily from that. I bet you if I put this on and like went out in the sun or something, then it would be like like super shiny I feel like because my hands are just super really shiny all right I don't know uh, I don't know if I even like the way it feels on me I'm really weird when it comes to like oils and stuff because I'm a naturally oily person oh well, kind of I don't know let's try this I want to see if it burns my lips it looks like it's uh changing the color of my lips that is so cool is it supposed to do that It's like, because it's clear, it's like it brings out your natural color. Hmm. And it's not, it's not that sticky. This is a little sticky. I'm a little disappointed. It's not burning me. It's no tingle sensation and it's supposed to be a plumper. And I don't even know if it plumps the lips, but, oh, we tried it. I don't know if I'll wear it again or not. So now to the e.l.f. Illuminous Putty Blush. I don't know if I'm supposed to use my fingers to put this on or if I'm supposed to use a brush. So let me find a brush and see if it'll work. All right, so I have this brush and we have this. Um, this is like a orange color. I've never used orange. I don't know if this is going to look out on me or not, but because I've never used it and I want to play with it, I just don't know. It's not wanting to come off on the brow. Oh, there we go. You just, I guess, got to wiggle it around. This is what I'm doing. I don't know if this is right. But there's that. So hopefully it's not going to be like, bam, overbearing. Uh, let's try this blush. Oh, can you see that? Look at that. You can, no blush. Blush. And with that, um, I don't know. Maybe I'll have to try it without the... So oil, oh, oh, wait a minute. Mm, this is starting to burn a little bit. Um, it's not giving the tingle bitey sensation, but it is starting to give a um, little like, I don't know, like warmer burny like sensation, not hot burny. But I don't know how to explain it, but actually I like that. I like how it does that. I'm so weird. There's that. I don't know if that's my color. Let me know what you guys think. Tell me if this orange colored blush looks good on me or not. Now let's do this side. And it might just look too oily because of the 
Soul Body Glow Oil. I didn't even think about that because this is a putty, like, I think putty um, blushes are supposed to look more luminous and it does have that in the, you know, packaging, the name, luminous putty blush, go figure. I wasn't even thinking about that when I decided to try it. I almost feel like it looks like my um, cheeks are burnt, like I've been out in the sun all day and when got myself burnt is almost what I feel like it looks like. But let's just try to blend it in a little bit, maybe. I like that. And what I mean by I like that, I like the lips. Like, I don't know. I've always been weird when it comes to things that produce a little bit of pain, but not a lot. So we're just gonna. Uh, I feel. I feel like the side is darker. So we're gonna try to darken the side up a little bit to match it. Let's see. Okay. But then, I also, um, where is it? Oh, it's right here. Um, is this it? Yes, I have this OPV Beauty. And I have this OPV Beauty, and it is um, OPV London. OPV Beauty is what it says. And there is a blush, a highlight, and a bronzer, and I want to try that bronzer because it's the only bronzer that I've got. And this does look like it's going to be a little dark for me, so let's just go in light-handed and get the egg. This is way too dark. <laughs> oh well. Let's just see what I can do. Maybe not use the oil next time because it's coming off kind of patchy. Ooh, look at that. That's horrible. Horrible, horrible. Probably should have done my bronzing first, right? It is way dark. But you know what? Andy is darker complected than me, and if she got this... I think I messed up, guys. If she got this to match her skin tone, then it's better to be too dark, or it's that oil. I'm not sure. But what I do know is it doesn't want to blend very well. And it looks very patchy, and I'm sure it's not the makeup. I am almost positive that it's the skincare. Well, hmm. All right, I gotta take this off. Like this video is like ridiculously long. I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to shorten it. All right, let's start over. That was absolutely horrible. I took everything off. Another reason I haven't been wearing much makeup is because I am like a teenager going through all of their hormone chains and I've been breaking out a lot lately. So I've been trying to do more skincare and less makeup. But let's try this right here again. Let's try it first. And let's go in very, very light handed. Because I do believe that it's just um, too dark for me. And if I go in lighter handed, or maybe slower than earlier, I always have, I feel like my face is uneven. Does anybody else have that problem? I mean, I feel like, like one side of your face is different than the other side. I'm not talking about like one eye being bigger. Like, I mean like one whole cheekbone is higher than the other cheekbone because I go through that a lot. Not a lot. Let's see. You know, it could also be because I don't really know how to bronze the right way. Like, I see other people do it and they just like slap it all over their face. And for the love of God, I can't figure out why. So I don't do it that way. I just choose to put it in a couple of spots and hope for the best. Um, And those spots, I don't even know if those are the spots I'm supposed to put them in because everybody says you're supposed to bronze according to the shape of your face. Well, I don't think I know what the shape of my face is. So I've tried a few different, you know, like looks with you Google, like, you know, contouring for different shapes of face for like oval or long or square or whatever, you know. And I've tried a bunch of different looks and I just can't find one that works very, very well at all. So back to the orange um, luminous putty brush. I brush blush. Let's try this one more time. I'm going in light-handed. Earlier I was just like digging right into it 
and then it ended up being way darker than what I thought it was going to be. So this time we're just going into it light-handed. And since I took that oil off my face, I don't feel like my face is over oily. So I don't feel like the blush is so luminous now. I actually am liking this color. I'm going to have to wear it out in public, I guess, and see what reactions I get. Because I usually get compliments on my makeup if I take my time. If I just throw it together, I don't really get many compliments. So... Damn. Damn, damn, damn. I may have to split this video up into two. Like, I, it's like already at like 50 minutes at my end. I can't even find where it is. Like 50 minutes at my end. Ooh. Let's see. I didn't even think of a lipstick. Hmm. Let's go see if I can find one that'll go up my eyes. So I found my Brenda and Dylan and Kelly lipstick. This might be. Like same color or close. Alrighty, so I think it's a little bit brighter than what I thought it was going to be. I don't like it. I don't. I like the lipstick by itself. I like the eyes by itself. I do not like it together. I do wish I would have had a black lipstick. I think a black lipstick would have went great with this look, but I was just trying out makeup anyways, and I can't wait to use a few more colors in this. This is actually really good eyeshadow. Like, um, I like it. I like it a lot. It went on easily. It blended smoothly what little bit of blending I did. You know, the glitter was pretty and so, or the shiny, the shiny was pretty. So yeah, I'm very happy with this Scandal palette. Um, I don't like this. I, I didn't like the way it made my body feel. I'm going to see if I can't find somebody to give that to you since I used it. The other one that I haven't used yet, I'm probably just going to throw it in a giveaway or something because it's more of an orange color. Um, this, this actually started to burn my lips and I don't know why, but I like that. So whenever I'm feeling like I need to torture myself, this, this will be great because it started off very lightly burning and it ended up feeling like it was like literally like had my lips on fire from like eating like too many hot Cheetos or something. And the elf putty blush is... I like it. It's not as dark as it was a minute ago. You've seen that mess. Um, the, I just had it. Oh, and everything. Well, I fucking, here it is. Oh, I tell you, this whole area of mine can be completely spotless. I can pull out just what I'm going to use and I'm going to overlook it. But the OPV Beauty Bronzer, I did go into it the second time light-handed, very light-handed. I almost feel like you can barely see it but better than what it was. Like, I almost feel like I was showing off a little bit. But there's that bronzer. I'm thinking I was just going to make it look, like, really good. Like, I was a MUA or something, which I'm not. But anyways, this is my final look. You give me your thoughts. I think it's ugly as hell, but I think that the products itself are amazing. Um, except for the this. I did not like this, but I did like everything else that I tried, and I still have a couple more palettes and a couple more items to use from the giveaway win, giveaway winnings, so I'm going to do some more videos. Hopefully, it won't take me a month to record anything. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Sorry that it is so long. If you stuck out until the very end, thank you, and be keeping an eye out because I am going to be doing a giveaway and it's probably going to be my birthday giveaway my birthday is coming up soon so if you want to get a chance of entering keep an eye on my videos i am going to try to post more so i'm not making any guarantees because i just can't seem to do it because i just don't i just don't do it i think about it and then i don't do it and then there's nights like tonight where i make myself record like i'm doing right now all right i've recorded for like an hour and i need to stop and i hope that i can get it short and as short as I possibly can. Hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Remember that I do love you. Remain awesome and peace out. Awesome. Perfect.